All right, I'm gonna do another EDC video. I've done a couple of them, and the reason I've done so many so far is I keep changing a few things in and out, but I believe for the most part, this is probably what I'm gonna stick with. And normally I wear a t-shirt or either a uniform work type shirt, which I'm sure you've seen in other videos. I always wear a hat and always have some safety glasses. Uh, working outside and uh, in logging and working on stuff, some mechanic and things like that. It's a lot of dirt and dust and debris and uh, running chainsaw, trimming up trailers and stuff. You got a lot of sawdust and stuff and I try to keep everything, you know, out of my eyes that I can. Plus the sun's really bright and I usually wear these uh, cargo style uh, work pants. Either that or a regular cargo uh, style khaki pants, I guess you would say. But uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and show you what I got and then go into more detail. First off, I'm using my phone to record, but I carry my phone in an otter box with a little clip holster type thing hooked in my belt. And then I always carry usually some kind of Glock 19 and pocket knife, which I'll go into the details in a minute, and a lighter, because you never know. Now I've got this tail of knives, leather, uh, multi-tool, and light holder. I always carry a multi-tool and a light and I really like this little holster then I've got that's uh, about it for the pockets usually I keep a handful of loose money and change and stuff I carry usually a face shield in my pocket sometimes I do sometimes I don't but uh, I usually keep it in here, not so much for the pandemic stuff now and stores wanting you to wear it and now the governor has mandated it or whatever he calls himself doing. But uh, I usually keep it in my pocket. I got the Leatherman Raptor shears and I've been keeping some gloves in my pocket because usually when I need gloves, I don't have them. And that's all for the right hand cargo pocket and the right pocket. And I carry a regular leather bill folder. And then I get this Maxpedition pouch in my left cargo pocket. So now we'll go ahead and come down here. Like I said, I talked about this. I really like that versus having everything in your pocket. And I carry this Leatherman Wingman. Really tough multi-tool. I use the pliers actually for cutting barbed wire with. And they've held up better than the Gerbers that I've used. And it's got a really sharp knife on it which is nice. Then I still got my Olight S2R Baton 2 that I did the torture test on and it's still working really good. One of my favorite lights. You can take that clip, put it on your hat and use for a headlamp. And uh, I'll set that off. Like I said, I'm carrying that multi-tool now. And uh, I went for a long time without carrying a pocket knife. And I did go for a while carrying a knife with it. And here's a couple. It's a Victoria Knox Swiss Army knife. It's got a fairly decent blade on it. It's pretty sharp, but you know, 
not the most sturdy thing in the world and it's got some tools on it and I actually carried this one uh, mainly before I got the multi-tool after that I didn't carry it much but this is a nice little knife the Kershaw and I don't remember the exact uh, model number but it's a pretty sharp blade it's just a smaller blade it's got a good pocket clip it's got a bottle opener and I liked how it had these screwdriver bits that you could put in there and use for a screwdriver I carried that for a while and then I quit and this is a regular old cheap ten fifteen dollar walmart uh ozark trail knife and it's pretty sharp i sharpened it a little bit it's got a you know locks up pretty good and it's actually a lot more sturdy than i thought it would be it's not a lot of wiggle and the lock seems to be pretty strong it's got this little piece here you can take a flick with your finger and help open it and stuff but it's a decent little knife and I've kind of been into pocket knives ever since I was a kid but uh, I never had a really nice one until now I just got this in today this is the Benchmade Freak it's really sharp really smooth knife with the axis lock supposed to be really good it's got the handles are plastic or whatever they call it the middle insert here this is a rubber feel so it's got a pretty good grip it's a good blade size I believe so far I really like it I'm on you know keep carrying it and let you know how it does probably do a review on it sometime I like knives, but I'm not, I don't know a lot about them. It's got S30V steel, I believe, what it says on the blade here. But uh, I watched a couple of videos on it, and I always said that I'd never buy a Benchmade because they were too expensive. But this one was a lot cheaper than I was expecting for Benchmade because I never really looked into them. But uh, it seemed to be a pretty tough knife. Uh, they were using it for batoning and all kind of stuff like that so I want a nice knife and I'm gonna carry it and see how it holds up it's got a lifetime warranty I believe as long as you don't change anything on it and they also have a warranty for sharpening it if uh, it gets dull and you don't want to sharpen it or you don't sharpen it right or something you can send it to them and they'll sharpen it and clean it and inspect it and send it back to you but anyway I believe unless something changes or you know it just really sucks this will probably be the uh, pocket knife I stay with carrying so we'll move that off to the side uh, I talked about these one time I carry these the Leatherman Raptor shears in my pocket instead of a holster it's got a belt clip I got them personalized it's got a glass breaker and it's got a belt cutter and it locks so I keep that in my pocket because you never know like I said with the glass breaker and belt cutter and just the overall medical shears in case uh, you have a bad injury and need to cut uh, clothes out of the way and get to it and, uh, carry this tourniquet in my pocket I don't remember what brand this is salt tea maybe or something but uh that's what I carry in my pocket and I also have uh usually my bag around with some more medical stuff and these are just mechanics uh, camouflage gloves I like my mechanics gloves I use the uh, ones with the this part is leather for you know doing work stuff mainly but sometimes they use these when I don't have the others but anyway in a regular old big lighter nothing special uh, leather bill folder still carry a checkbook for work and stuff 
and then this mask, uh, I used it in the winter time, like when it's really cold outside and, and things, they come in pretty good for that. And you could throw it on and help a little bit. It's not a lot, it's really thin, but like if you're around a bunch of smoke and stuff like that. Then the other part of the case to my phone. And then we'll do the gun. I got two 19s that I carry mainly. Uh, this is the 19X factory night sights. I keep a light on either one of them whenever I carry it. And this is a 19X, but I cut it down to the 19 size because uh, it's easier to conceal and the 19 size fits my hand perfect. So there's no need to have a longer grip and that way I can use, you know, my 19 mags and the 17 mags in this gun. And on the inside, I did lighten the trigger a little bit. I got a three pound connector from Glock store. I think it's Black Diamond brand or something like that. I really like O-Lights and I really like Glocks. And this is my other 19. It's a Gen 5 uh, regular 19. I put night sights on it. That's always a must uh, for me. And I painted it kind of a camo pattern just to mainly see how I would like it. And it came out pretty good. I like it pretty good. And I believe I'm gonna get it, you know, Cerakoted in a better finish. And anyway, that'll do it for that. Then the Tier 1 uh, Aegis Elite holster. You can unsnap the magazine and just carry it that way. Uh, it fits the, it's made for the 19 with the light, but I uh, also put my Glock 20 in it sometimes. The magazine doesn't fit for the Glock 20. I just have a regular 15 round magazine here. And I got one round of shot shell for whatever rodents or pests come across. Uh, works good for snakes and stuff too. Working in the woods, sometimes you come across a uh, copperhead or a uh, rattlesnake, stuff like that. We don't have a lot of rattlesnakes around here, but they are around here, so I keep one like that. So I'm not really expecting that to go to a backup mag anyway, but if I do, first round of that, and then I get a regular full metal jacket in case I off somewhere and decide to take a few target shots or some kind of critter you don't want to waste hollow points on. And then I got the uh, Spear Gold Dot, I believe. This is either Gold Dot or it's Federal. Nope, this is actually the SIG hollow point. But uh, anyway, I got them in there and I forgot what green they are. Anyway, all that aside, this is something I really like and it's kind of newer for me. This is the uh, Maxpedition Mini EDC Organizer or something like that. But uh, it's really tough. It's got YKK zippers and you can attach it to Molly, but I've just got it in that cargo pocket. And I've got a few things in here. I've got some tweezers, which come in handy, getting splinters and ticks and stuff. Fingernail clippers. I think that's a very underrated item to have. Got some chapstick. Uh, you never know when you need that. Several different uses for it. I got a overpriced snap-on little screwdriver flathead with a magnetic uh, magnet on the end. And I got a sharpie and a pen. These are really good pliers. I mean, uh, you can get them in bigger models. But on smaller bolts and stuff, I mean, you can use these instead of a wrench. They get 
got really good jaws on it and they're push button adjustable so they lock into place and they won't really slip and mash your finger like channel lock style. I got a notepad and a paper towel and a single pack of Spam because you never know when you want a snack. And then the main reason I carry a little pouch like this is in here, I got some medical stuff. I got some eye drops, I got some glue. You never know when you need that. Then I got a pack of Tylenol, some wipes, some more antibiotic eye drops, and there we go. Anyway, I got some gloves, some gauze, gauze and a little piece of ace bandage. I got a couple of bigger bandages. And then I got a couple of these non-adhesive pads to use with this stuff and need to figure out a little way to uh, get a little bit of medical tape in there too. But uh, oh yeah. I think this is the first uh, EDC video with the watch, but uh, anyway, this is the uh, what is it now? Galaxy Active 2, I believe, is what it's called. And I got the Leatherman Tread, uh, watch band for it. It's uh, actually a multi tool bracelet, but they make watch adapters. It's got lots of little tools on it. you can see there a little flat head on each side this is supposed to be a quarter drive ratchet bottle opener then you got this bit has a Phillips on one side a flat on the other and a little wrench part on it this one does too and it's got two Phillips heads on it and then this one has a glass breaker and it's personalized and I think that's a SIM card remover for a phone and that's a little cutting thing on there but uh anyway it's a nice tough watch band so far it came with a small little watch band that I didn't think was very strong so I wanted to find something different I ended up going with this and uh being my wrist ain't that ain't that big uh, and taking some out to put those adapters on I still got a lot of different uh, tools for it I can switch at it or whatever because uh, it is about that big around when it came but uh anyway that's usually what I carry uh, for EDC for whatever I need to do uh, around on the homestead and uh, working, logging, all that kind of stuff, going somewhere. Sometimes, uh, like going to church or whatever, I don't carry the pouch and stuff, but most of the other stuff goes with me. And uh, at least the multi-tool and light, and usually keep a tourniquet and the shears, because you, you know, never know the one time you leave it home, you'll need it type of thing. But uh, anyway, that's all for this one. See ya. Uh, oh yeah, my catchphrase. Uh, stay prayed up, prepped up, and strapped up. See ya.